All right, there's two things I would like to bring up. And the first one, I, I wanted to bring it up at the last meeting, but unfortunately it ended abruptly in what it was, in which we're all aware of it. And also, uh, Jackson, I feel that you're aware of it as well, is that we did receive a receipt, uh, excuse me, let me get the right one here, that we did receive a completed uh, form written by the Winton and Courier to the Attorney General's office, a formal complaint lodged against the board for a meeting held May 21st. Also encloses a letter requesting the form to be submitted by the Chairman Burton Gould. Despite Chairman Gould's request for the documentation to be sent to himself alone, the Courier chose to decimate the information as broadly as possible as choosing to send the information to every board member as therefore. Um, since the original complaint to the AG office was opened by the board member on May 28th, well within the 30-day time period uh, required, uh, this continuing formal request is additional information to and from the board to comply with necessary requirements under the new open meeting law. We had a responsibility to have make this public, and our last date was the night of that last meeting. The meeting ended before this could become public. So it did not end up becoming forward, but they did move forward with this, and this is now in the hands of the AG. And I just wanted to bring that up because that should have been brought up back then. Because we did, we did receive a, uh, a, a complaint, and this was the, uh, the meeting that, uh, or the luncheon, whatever you want to call it, that was uh, held at uh, uh, the Winchin School. Uh, and it should be noted that um, uh, Mr. Blair, uh, when there was questions after, I mean, number one, we, we did look at the <coughs> bar and we thought we were covered.